A National Institutes of Health study has found that although about 94% of Americans over the age of 12 um, do have really good vision, the remaining 6% or 14 million people are visually impaired or blind. In our HealthCast today, we're going to focus on a local organization that has been helping sight impaired South Floridians for 50 years. Touch. Until the day her son Josh Manning was born, Karina Riho had no inkling anything was abnormal with his development. In the moment that the baby was born, it was normal delivery. Then the nurses, when they were cleaning him, they noticed that he wasn't opening his eyes. She soon learned that along with several other health issues, Josh Manning had a rare disorder that left him without any eyes. I have never heard in my entire life someone being born without eyes. So that was the first time I had it. The hospital referred Karina to the Lighthouse of Broward. It's a nonprofit started 50 years ago this month to provide assistance to the visually impaired and blind. So it was just a small group of community leaders who had relatives and friends and neighbors who were blind or visually impaired, and there were no resources. There was no special services, and out of just the kindness of their heart, they created this incredible institution. At just two months, Josh Manny began receiving services through the Lighthouse's Bright Beginnings Early Intervention Program. I think what our instruction brings for Josh Manny is a structured approach to learning fundamental milestones that most parents take for granted when raising their children. Now almost three, Josh Manny receives weekly home visits from a Lighthouse of Broward coordinator. Karina, so proud of the accomplishments her son has been able to make. We are, we are progressing <laughs> at a slow pace, but we are progressing. love for that little guy. Mm. The organization says the key to providing assistance is actually making sure people know they're out there. They exist. The Lighthouse of Broward serves 2,600 people a year, but there are, get this, an estimated 140,000 people in Broward County alone who are considered visually impaired or blind, and they need to know about this yeah, wonderful such organization. Such important work that they do, right? Yeah, for mm. 50 years. Congratulations.